Hey. Um, right, OK, now, one of the UK's youngest imams, Sabah Ahmedi, and his wife, Melissa, will have travelled today to Manchester to celebrate Christmas with her parents. Yes, Sabah was raised as a Muslim, but his wife, Melissa, grew up in a non-religious family and converted to Islam ten years ago. Well, the couple believes that spending Christmas with Melissa's parents is an important gesture to their interfaith family. Well, joining us now is Saba Ahmedi to tell us his story. Saba, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. So tell us about your plans for today. So we travelled to Manchester a few days ago to spend um, Christmas Day with my in-laws. It's a celebration that they, which they uh, do and I partake in their happiness. Uh, so today, well, my kids and Melissa have already gone to um, her parents' house because obviously the car's got to be quiet, otherwise you would have had kids jumping all over me. Um, but today's plan is to go over there, have Christmas lunch with them, um, and then swap presents, and it'll be a really nice time to have family come together. And what happens at Christmas Day, which is really nice, is my in-laws invite my parents over um, on Christmas Day, and then on Eid Day, when we have Eid, my parents invite my in-laws over here, um, and then we have eat together. So it's really nice to have both families together at such a special time for each family. Um, so that's the plan for today. Um, as soon as the interview is done, I head over there to their house. Oh, that sounds lovely. It's so nice that you can get those common themes in your celebrations, so togetherness and, and family mm. and love. How do you explain to your children? How do they, how do they know what's going on? And, and how do you say, you know, this isn't our religion, but this is something that we're, we're doing today? How, how does that work? Yeah, so obviously my children are raised in a Muslim household, but it's really important for me to that they know what their grandparents do and what they celebrate and what's important to them. Um, so, of course, in our house, we pray together, we read the Holy Quran, we go to the mosque regularly for prayers. So that education of Islam is there. But also when my in-laws come over, um, they know that they're not Muslim and they do certain things a different way. So it's, it's, it's nice to have that set up in my own house. But when they go to their grandpa grandparents' house, nanny and grandpa's house, then they know things are done a little bit different. Sabah, what do you take from Christmas? So for me, a massive part of, of, of Christmas or, or the day of Christmas itself is within the community itself, we look out for those individuals who might be struggling. So this year, AMIA, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association, we've partnered with Maria Curie um, and we've allowed people to nominate individuals who they think might be struggling or going through a tough time, cost of living and whatever. And we've prepared hampers to give to people in the UK today um, spread over 22 different um, regions. And in that hamper, as we can see on screen, there'll be um, candles, food, toiletries, toys even, depending on who mm -hmm. has nominated the individual, whether it's a child or an adult. Uh, so really, it's, a, it's an integral part of Islam is looking after the community and your neighbours. So that's something mm -hmm. I'll be part of today. Um, and I'm really excited to see people happy and, and spending time with their family and putting a smile on, on someone's face who might be going through a tough time this Absolutely. Time. Well, that's that's great stuff, Sabah. Now, a little bit, well, slightly off topic. I can't help but notice that you're in Manchester. I, as soon as this show is over, well, actually, that's not quite true. I've got to do another show after that. But then, got to, want to, want to. Um, but uh, then I'm coming to Manchester. Whereabouts are you? <laughs> that doesn't matter. I'm going to DM you. You've got to DM me. Let's go for a coffee. Yeah. Aww. Let's make it happen. If you, when, you come, when you come to the north... I feel like just the world is so much easier and so much chill. So it's quieter, uh, that's for sure, yeah. And let's connect, and I'll see you on this side of the world. Hey, hey good guy. There hey, you go. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Well, keep up the good work. Great to hear from you, Sabah. Thank you very, very much. And, uh, yes, I hope you and your it. family have a wonderful day. Thank you yes, very, much. Yes, yes. Enjoy your day, Sabah. Thank you for coming on. Oh, what a lovely man. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Nice. Nice that he still takes something from Christmas. Yes. Together with his kids? Well, you, th you see, the thing is, I, when you ask that, what do you take from Christmas? And I thought, actually, you were what, like, do, what, what do I take? It's just oh. presents and food. Like, I mean, I'm religious, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it made me think, you know, even though that is my religion, actually, I'm very much a taker, although I'm an only child. And that really shows, by the way, in my personality, but also just the way I open presents. <laughs> the way you conduct yourself.